Welcome to this MATLAB video tutorial. If you've never used MATLAB before, this demonstration will get you started and show you where to go to next to learn more. The MATLAB language lets you construct commands to create and process variables. You can create variables by entering them in the command window here. For example, a equals 1, b equals 2, c equals a plus b, or d equals cosine of a. MATLAB is an array-based language where variables can be 1, 2, or n-dimensional. You can use square brackets to construct arrays. To create a row vector, you can type t equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can use the colon operator to simplify the creation of equally spaced arrays. t equals 1 to 5. You can recall the previously enter command with the up arrow key and edit it. t goes from 0 in steps of 0 0.01 to 1. Adding a semicolon avoids command output being echoed to the command window. To see what variables you have created so far, type whose. And to see the value of a variable, just type its name. You carry out operations on vectors just like scalars. For example, y equals sine of 2 times pi times t. This makes use of pi, a predefined constant in MATLAB. You can plot y against t with plot t comma y. You can find a list of available functions in the MATLAB help by clicking here and browsing to the MATLAB section and functions by category. Or you can search using keywords here. In MATLAB, variables can be complex and i is used to denote the imaginary part, such as x equals 3 plus 4i. You enter matrices using the semicolon in this way, a equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Or you can use functions such as d equals rand of 10, 10 to create a random matrix of 10 rows by 10 columns. You can find the dimensions of an array with the size function. You can perform matrix operations such as b equals the transpose of a, c equals a times b, which performs matrix multiplication, or c equals a dot times b, which performs element-wise multiplication. You could calculate the inverse of a. and multiply it by A to confirm you get the identity matrix. You can select elements or sections of an array by indexing. Here is the value at the second row, third column of A, or a section from rows 1 to 3 of D, columns 1 to 2. Note that indices in MATLAB start at 1. And you can plot 2D arrays as well. For example, surf of D creates a surface plot of D. That concludes the demonstration. You can try some of these examples in MATLAB now or watch one of the other videos.